Hi, I'm Darren from Isotonic Studios, and today I'm here to show you the new Crossfire Euclidean mode from Mark Towers that's integrated with the Akai Fire. Now, for the integration, you will need our Crossfire control surface script that's available on the website that's made by Native Control, um, the guys behind ClipX Pro. Um, as standard, that script comes with its own step sequencer. It's got a note mode with various scales. It's got a drum uh, rack control mode, and it's got a session mode, which actually the red box represents, uh, what is it? It's 16 uh, tracks by four scenes. And it's that unique kind of setup that really inspired Mark to work with uh, the Control Surface script, which comes with a set of Max for Live abstractions if you wanted to create your own devices. And he's created this fantastic, really fun and easy to use Euclidean step sequencer. I'm just going to make it active. It's a Max for Live device and it will take over the Akai Fire. Now the top half is de dedicated to the steps and hits and the bottom half to velocity. Now Euclidean mode is fairly simple. You take the number of steps and the number of hits and you divide the number of hits into the steps equally. So we've got here um, 16 steps and four hits. 16 divided by four is quite equal. So when I press play on the transport, um, this one's gonna run and it's gonna sound fairly pedestrian. Things really start to get interesting though when you give it numbers that can't be divided by each other. So say for example, I wanted to change this, uh, the number of hits to five, I can either click on the, the parameter there, or I can change it, one, two, three, four, five, directly from the fire. And it's now fitted five hits into that same number of steps. Do the same for six. Excellent. Let's move to the, uh, actually, let's leave that at four nice and pedestrian. And if we go to the second pattern, which I can select by hold down the shift key, uh, actually let's make it the third, because that will be the snare. Each of these patterns, of course, um, has the ability to be set uh, at a particular note for the drum rack, or you could even put a synth after it if you wanted to. And this D1 will hit the snare, I believe. Uh, so let's do that. I've got it set on, two steps, so two, three would look like that. And I'm gonna set that running directly from the controller, alternatively from the mouse. So you don't need a fire, it's just great fun if you do have one. Okay, so it's working all right there. Um, maybe you don't want the snare though to come in on the first step. So that's where the rotate parameter comes in. Again, use the mouse or use the grid buttons. And let's go back to that first one. Now let's change that up. Let's move that to the five hit. And those two things are playing quite nicely together. Now though, I switch it up and I turn this into a polyrhythm because they're both working at 16 steps at the moment. So if I hold down Alt and 16, 17, let's make it 18 steps. And of course, now that there's 18 steps on the kick, those two rhythms are gonna continue to morph and evolve and continue. Um, you'll notice down the bottom that we can see how many steps. It's not quite showing up on the camera, but the the, the hits or steps that have no hits in them are in a, a lighter blue to those that are in uh, uh, are actually going to hit. Uh, because it's 18, that's gone back there. Uh, let's go for a different one. Let's maybe go for, ah, now. 16 steps and I've got 16 hits. So this is more than likely going to be my friend, the hi-hat. Excellent. 
so it's hidden every 16th and if I wanted to, I could change the rate. Maybe I could change that to 30 second notes and increase the number of steps. So now every other. But it's got a very static velocity. Uh, on the device here, you see the velocity mode. We've actually got four separate shapes that you can morph between. And those shapes uh, basically will observe the range. So let's change that to eight. And they'll create that shape over eight steps effectively. Now I can whiz the dial. And as you can see on the display on the device, it's gonna change the velocity. It's also reacting uh, with the colors of the lights, but I can also change that here. quite like that. Let's pull the velocity out of that um, set uh, effectively. So I'm gonna press Alt and I'm gonna bring that, I wanna repeat that every. So we've changed the range there where that shape is gonna repeat itself. Let's put in an odd number of hats as well. As you can see, really good fun. Hold down shift, let's pick something else randomly. Let's set it off to play. And let's maybe. Make it evolve a bit more. Let's uh, mix up the. Go back to that first. As you can see, a great deal of fun can be had just jamming away, changing step lengths, changing the velocity, moving the grid around. <sighs> Obviously, everything can be done with the mouse. It's just the hands-on uh, side of things, the 16 to 32 step sequencer uh, that we've got here. Um, Obviously, there's 16 patterns, so that's 16 noises, 16 drums, um, yeah. Love this, absolutely love it. Crossfire, the native control control surface script, plus the Euclidean mode Max for Live device from Mark Towers. Great fun, thanks for watching. Cheers.